the audience would really like that. So maybe, maybe. Anyways, we're going to play some Atari ST games. bit soft. Well, that might be better. Um, hopefully, uh, let me know if there's if I'm a little quiet on the audio or something. Uh, it seems like that's always the most duct tape part of this show. But uh, yeah, before we do that, though, there's a few things I want to talk about. News related and Jaguar related. Let me um, turn this over to that really quick. I think I have that set up. Let's find out. Oh yeah, I do. Um, we'll get to the ST ports here in just a moment. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is at jagcorner.com. Uh, and again, plug this every episode. Don't forget to sign up for the newsletter. I try to get an uh, exclusive newsletter out once a month. It's just uh, kind of me rambling about uh, streams, uh, but also talking about uh, Crescent Memories and some behind the scenes uh, stuff with that. I'm, I'm starting to ramp up on that again now that we're coming close to the end of the 2.2 test suite. So hopefully I'll start doing some streams with Press Memories again, but I may I may replace that with some other things as well because um, I decided not to expand on the game like I was planning. I feel like I need to uh, polish up what's there, which is good. What's there is good. Um, finish a lot of art assets. A lot of art assets. I need to be doing some composing, uh, music, uh, musical composing uh, for Press or Audit will be watching specifically. And just again polish things up and get that finished. And during that phase, I don't know how much I'm going to share because I don't want to spoil too much either. I'm doing a lot of end game stuff, final polishes, kind of make really bring the game to life. And, and so I don't want to spoil too much of that uh, on stream. So there's some other projects that would will be interesting to work on. I'm thinking about going to some of the old demos that I worked on years ago and actually making the code good. <laughs> and so polishing that up, optimizing things, and adding on top of them. I create new versions of it essentially, so we may do that, or I may, uh, there's a lot of artwork that needs to be done, and, and so I may spend some time doing that. Crass Productions, good morning. Uh, it's a bit hard to hear you. Well, let me see, I have to rotate my mic, so if you have headphones, I'm sorry. Um, I have to rotate it a little bit when we start playing the game, because I, I turn this way. I need to get a chair that actually swivels cheapskate when it comes to chairs. I shouldn't do that. It's probably ruining my back. Uh, Tune game volume down by 2%. Okay, I think I got that. Let me, uh, let me know how it is now, Kraz. Uh, let me, I'm gonna turn it down. Just, this game seems to be a little over, over amplified, uh, to tell you the truth. So I'm gonna turn it, like, way down for now, and then I'll adjust it a little bit. Maybe I'll get some headphones and, and see if I can monitor my own audio here. Matt Smith, good morning. Hey, we'll catch, uh, we'll catch up on the live stream when I'm indoors. Well, enjoy the outdoors, man. Uh, yesterday, um, I only got to step outside once or twice, but it was fa no, not yesterday. The day before Sunday, um, I did step out a little bit yesterday, but uh, the day before, uh, where I'm at, it's it's just it's nice and cool, but the sun is warm and there's a little bit of rain every once in a while, and it is incredible outside. So. Enjoy your time outside. Uh, I can hear better. Hello, Jag Corner. Good morning. Um, yeah, so I, I on, uh, what, where was I? I was, uh, 
I was talking about, oh yeah, the newsletter. Um, so yeah, sign up for the newsletter. If you're not on that, there is some exclusive stuff I'm planning on. Um, I'm trying to uh, organize my schedule a little bit better so I can create more uh, potent exclusive content there to just make it more attractive for people. And, I, and I'll probably start teasing that a little bit more on stream and stuff. So I, 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 I think that newsletter, I, I do well in that newsletter. I, I can be a little more frank there. Um, I know it's people who are genuinely interested in, in my my very surface level opinions on things. But also, I, I do want to make sure that people who do want to be uh, involved at least a little bit more with behind the scenes, that they have the opportunity to at least hear that. Um, I'd like to find out some ways to have the audience actually participate in the game development a little bit. I haven't thought about that too much, but it is something uh, that's popped into my head a, a few times. So. Um, at jagcorner.com, I've actually created a page, so if you come to the game and software section, um, I try to keep this updated as often as possible. Um, I added a, uh, a selection here for the 240p test suite, um, Jaguar edition. <laughs> That's not official or anything, I just thought it was fun. I still need to talk with the main uh, curator, the main programmer for the 240p test suite to talk about integrating that with their github and everything we're, we're getting to that point there's one t one more video test i want to do uh we'll probably do that finish that up at least next week i may spend some time on that today if i have some time though we'll see uh again there's a lot of programming stuff to do if you if you were there last week we did this cool uh wave sign uh visualization so we actually so the jaguar dsp so what inside of uh, uh jerry it's one of the combined cpus um uh, the DSP has a ROM, uh, it's, uh, is it 2K or is it 4K? I can't remember. Anyways, there's a bunch of uh, waveforms baked into that ROM. So the Jaguar does have some native waveforms. Um, and, and all we did here for the sound test is we extracted those waveforms so we could play them back. And uh, we had a few minutes at the end of the stream and so we um, actually visualized the waveform. And I figured out what the problem was between uh, uh, virtual Jaguar and the hardware like the hardware wasn't drawing it correctly and it was because I wasn't accessing the variable correctly so I figured that out looks great um, it, it's a fun little addition I actually thought about doing a visualizer for the when you go down here and play the raw sample um, that it actually visualizes the waveform in some form uh, and I may do that in the future but not right now and my gallery thing isn't working correctly it shouldn't be going to a separate page I'll have to check that check on that um, anyways, yeah, check that out. There isn't a whole lot of information there. It just really guides people back to uh, the main GitHub and creator's web page. But um, I thought I'd put that there just so people people are aware that uh, I'm working on this. Um, so, anyways, there's that. Uh, now for uh, just some news items. Um, I thought this was really interesting. I, I, I may We may test this out on stream at some point. Um, is uh, the there is now a memory track? Uh, what does he call it? He calls it an emulator, and I guess it is because you're you're loading it into ROM and you're emulating the mem memory track. But supposedly it works uh, just like a normal Jaguar CD memory track, um, with a few exceptions. There's a few games, some are reboots games, uh, currently don't work, so they must be using a different or a custom. A piece of code or something um, not sure uh, I'm not sure on that so we may try this out on one of the streams I need to go through an update I have the revision 5 board and so we'll be able to install this 4.0.1 firmware update um, I was kind of waiting to see if other people had done it so maybe we'll do that live on stream and break brick one of my skunks <laughs> we'll see I'm not sure anyways uh, it's cool that um, uh, Cubanismo is still uh, working on it. I'm trying to remember if he's dropped in on the streams. I can't remember. Um, but anyways, it's, it's cool to see that he's putting in work here. He's been putting in a lot of work into uh, a set of development tools for Linux as well. And so there's lots of options out there if you want to make JAG games. Um, there's really no excuse not to if you want to. Uh, anyways, yeah, really cool to see that. Um, 
I thought this was interesting, and it seems like somebody has done a poll like this before, but I, I tried digging, and this person tried digging too, to see if there was a, re uh, a recent poll of this, and I couldn't find anything, and they couldn't find anything. But uh, it's, it's cool to see the demographics for our little community, at least on a Atari age. I'm, I'm sure there's a lot more people on Facebook and, and stuff like that who don't participate here, but I think this probably gives you, it's a small sample size. Let's see here, what is that? That's uh, 49, seven, it's about 70 to 80 people um, that have uh, uh, participated in the pool, me included. Um, and it's cool to see that there's a lot more people in my age group than I thought there would be. So 15 of us, which is which is neat. Um, and the 40 to 49 makes sense. Uh, somebody mentioned that was kind of the uh, when people were in high school or just finishing high school uh, in the early 90s and when they had some extra income that they could actually purchase the Jag. And so this makes sense to me. Uh, we have two people that are younger and 10 to 19, which is awesome. We got a few teenagers in there. That's good to see. It'd be cool to figure out some way to, um, excuse me, my nose is bothering me just a little bit. Um, it'd be cool to find out a way uh, to get the uh, 10 to 29 years uh, year olds uh, a little more involved. I, I know there's a lot, a lot of people in that age group that are interested in the retro gaming thing. Um, it'd be figure out how it'd be cool to figure out how to net some of those people into the community, get some young blood in there to uh, keep things going. Um, the thing is, is once people start pushing that 60 to 69, I mean even before that, in the 50, 59, people are dropping off the radar. Uh, people are passing away, um, and so if you can figure out how to uh, get a few more people in there, uh, you got something going on. So it's something I've thought about a little bit. Um, not sure how to accomplish that just yet, though. Uh, trying to listen and work in my car. So did I hear something about game development? Did you guys need beta testers? I might have misunderstood. No, no, no beta testers. Um, uh, I, I was talking about, uh, I mentioned a little bit on uh, figuring out how to get people who are uh, signed up to the newsletter involved with development a little bit as a little piece of um, exclusive interaction or content uh, for them. Maybe beta, te beta testing is one of those things. Uh, beta testing, you have to be a little bit careful with. You need people that you really trust um, when beta testing for a few reasons. Obviously, you don't want a ROM leaking online um, or anything like that, but also because it's it's a lot of work to beta test. Uh, I've been helping out. Um, I guess I can talk about this. They've, they've talked about this in Atari age. They'll scold me. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I can, but I've been helping out with uh, Asterite because they ran into troubles. I've been helping them play test and I've put quite a few hours into it and it's a lot of work. Um, and, and you kind of spoil the game for yourself uh, when you become a play tester in the sense that it becomes boring. Um, unless it happens to be a really, really, really good game. But yeah, you, you kind of spoil the game. But it's it's been fun too. Asterite is a... Is, um, I've played it a lot, and so I am biased, but I'm also not biased because it's become a little bit boring to me, but it's it's a good game, especially for homebrew. And so if you haven't thought about getting a copy of that, um, definitely get a copy of that. Full disclosure, though, I have been helping them with playtesting. Um, it's been a lot of fun, though. Uh, it's been cool figuring out how to exploit the game. Um, this is the, uh, besides my own games, this is the first game I've ever uh, thoroughly playtested for somebody. So, anyways, a lot of spreadsheets and sending notes back and forth and trying things over and over again to see if you can reproduce crashes, and it's, it's fun. Uh, Asteroid, uh, Asteroid is a great game. It's odd to see a Metroid-like game on the Jag, but I love it. Yeah, it's, it's weird. I wasn't expecting anybody to do anything like that, to tell you the truth. Um, the thing is about Metroidvania is they're more popular now, but back in the day they weren't popular. Um, like Castlevania Symphony of the Night was the first time I had ever heard uh, anybody really talking about a Metroidvania type game. Obviously, that's where that genre name comes from. Um, I, I had heard about Metroid at some point, but I didn't know a lot of people that had played it. Most people were playing uh, just standard platformers like Mario or adventure games like Zelda. Those were really huge on the Nintendo. Um, on the And then obviously a lot of the platformers on the Sega Genesis, the common ones like the Disney ones. Um, yeah, and, and then fighters were really big in the early 90s, <laughs> like Mortal Kombat. 
Um, so that's what was that was what was hot from what I remember. And everybody has a little bit of a different experience there for sure. But 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 yeah. Um, so it's it's a little bit of a surprise to even see it on the Jag. But Metroidvania or that Metroidvania genre is really popular now, and so I think people are a little more willing to put the time in. I know I am. Um, recently did a video about lost media for the Jag. Uh, I go over American Hero, uh, The Realm of Fighters, and Mortal Kombat 3. I think Jag desperately needs more fighters and Cineplay. And Cineplay games. I don't know what Cineplay is. Is that kind of like a flashback? Uh, like a cinematic platformer? Uh, what's another game? Uh, Prince of Persia is another game like that. Um, anyways. Uh, yeah, uh, it'd be cool to have some more fighters. Um, it's. I've never been huge into fighters myself. Um, in fact, when I was young, the only ones I ever played was Mortal Kombat, uh, or not Mortal Kombat, um, Ultra Vortex uh, was the only one I played when I was young. And maybe that's why I'm kind of turned off to him because it wasn't, obviously wasn't the best. It's not a terrible fighter, but um, Street Fighter, especially Street Fighter 2 is a way better game uh, in my opinion, but things like Night Trap. And oh, oh, Cineplay games. Okay, cool. Uh, FMV. Yeah, <laughs> De definitely for its age, we should have expected more. I, there was, uh, there were a couple, American Hero, and then what, there was one more for the Jag, I can't remember the name, um, that they were showing at conferences and, and stuff like that. And so it would have been cool to see a few more of those because those were the hot thing, right? Um, and they definitely had plans. Man, maybe I'll do something one of these days. One game that I wish that they had ported over at some point was uh, uh, Creature Shock. Um, I remember seeing that when I was really young. Freaked the crap out of me. I, <laughs> it's, it's a really scary game for a young person, um, but fascinated because it was scary, uh, which is common for young people. Um, but I, I and I know that was that was featured on the back of the Jag CD box, and so it was it was there was a little apprehension or, or some expectation to see that come to the Jag, and it never came to the Jag. Be cool to get to the point from a programming standpoint where I could port that one over. I think that'd be a fun project, you know, ten or fifteen years down the line, uh, getting that game over to the Jag. Um, it, it probably wouldn't be too difficult to get a license for that. It might be a little bit expensive. You'd be losing some money on it, but that's some, that's it sacrifice I'd probably be willing to make if I could get to an experience level where I could actually do that. Right now I don't have the experience to do that. So, um, Yeah, Caves of Fear was the other one. So, um, But yeah, Creature Shock was, was planned. It'd be interesting to and I'm sure there's an interview out there somewhere. I know there's a few people that really dig into these unreleased games and try to track down people that were involved with them to get as much information as possible. So I'm sure there's more information about this. Uh, I just haven't looked yet. Um, but it'd be cool to talk to one of the developers to see how far they got with Creature Shock. You know, I, I have, I think, a memory. I could be wrong about this, where somebody did interview someone and it, they didn't have anything started except for just talk. Uh, they had talked about it. Maybe there were some initial plans, but uh, nothing was done. And so, um, does anybody happen to know who owns the rights to Creature Shop? Because um, if it's one of the big companies like EA or Bethesda or something, there's probably no way I can get it licensed. But if it's in still in the hands of, of, of somebody smaller, there's there's a chance of getting that license. So making it actually worth <laughs> my while to spend some time on it. But um, anyways. I thought about, after doing the Mist port, uh, another CD game, uh, or playing the Mist port here on the channel, um, Cyan, they're still technically a small company, a small development house, and I know some people have talked about, hey, the source is available for Mist, uh, is there a way to get mouse support in it, and it'd be cool to figure out some sort of official, just, you know, like a letter or something that... <laughs> allows allows us to patch that legally and re-release it for the jag uh, so there's mouse support maybe do a few more upgrades like something i noticed um and i talked about this in the newsletter a little bit uh, i i talked about um kind of my thoughts on this and one one thing i noticed was there was audio lag uh so when an animation played on screen the audio lagged by two or three seconds and it seemed to be inconsistent sometimes it was on for the same animation, but sometimes it was off. And so it'd be cool to go through and see if that could be optimized and 
really optimize that game and and see if uh, see if we can get a re-release on that. I don't know how many people would actually buy it. I know Mist is um, it's more of a novelty. Uh, is that a good way of putting it? It's kind of a novelty. They they sold so many copies of it back in the '90s, but the reason one of the reasons why it sold so well is it was a CD game, and it actually justified getting a CD-ROM drive because it had to take up all that space. And so, but for I. Anybody who's been thrift shopping knows that almost inevitably, every time you go to a thrift store, you'll find a copy of Mist, if not two copies of Mist. And they're all in, almost all of them are in flawless condition, meaning that nobody played them. <laughs> or if they did play them, they played them once and then put it away and never touched it again. And so, um, so I don't know if selling, uh, reselling Mist on the Jag is really worth it, but it'd be cool to get mouse support at least. That'd be fun. Anyways, this is a really cool poll, uh, poll to see um, who's who's uh, in our community and who's uh, involved on some level. And I'm sure there's a lot of people in the background that didn't answer this poll either. But uh, yeah, it's cool to get a bearings on on who who my audience is and who I'm interacting with, um, and see see if we can uh, get some younger blood in there too. That'd be cool. I'll have to think about that a little bit. All right, that's it for uh, the the news. Today we're going to be playing Darius and Golden Axe, which are two recent releases, Atari ST ports, um, from Cyrano Jones. Uh, if you aren't familiar with this, I'll do a quick recap on what he's been doing for oh, probably six or seven years now. He's, uh, he's reverse engineered a way of uh, relatively quickly porting Atari ST games over to the Jag, and I, I don't know all the ins and outs for that, but let's see here. Reboot Atari Jaguar. Let's see if it's still up on their page. He had a write up um, at some point. Let's see if this will load. He had a write up on kind of the process he goes through to port over these games and, and and I can't remember the details but it seemed like some games are well, of course as soon as I navigate away um, devious commercial freeware games uh, yeah you have, you have so many releases it's pretty cool um, check the flag yeah, there was a write-up at some point. I, I don't want to go digging for it. Anyways, on their, it, it could be still on their website. I'm not entirely sure. You may have to use the Wayback Machine to find it, too. But, um, yeah, uh, CJ, very experienced at this. Um, and and it's cool to see him bringing, over, bringing these games over to the Jag. A lot of, a lot of these were games I grew up in my, uh, with. I grew up with in my youngest years. And so there's a lot of nostalgia there. Uh, not all the games are fun. I'll, I'll be frank. Uh, they're not very good. Um, but if you have that nostalgia, definitely worth the time to pick it up and, and see how bad they really are. But some of the games are really good. I would consider Golden Axe one of those. I'm hoping Darius here is a good one. Um, it looks like, like visually, it already looks impressive just with this logo screen. So it, you can tell that somebody put some time into it. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, we're going to play a few of these today. We may I may do a third one that I haven't talked about yet because there were only two released recently. If we do a third one, we'll go look at the list and we'll decide on what to play. But uh, I, let's get started with um, uh, with the, with Darius. I don't know why it says the edge. That must be a company logo or something. Okay, yeah, that's what that was. So here's the actual title screen for the game. And I'm actually going to turn this up a bit. See if I can get resituated here. Let's see here. Okay. Right about there should work. Um, let me let me look at the controls here. Darius, it's just fire. Well done. <laughs> okay, that's it. Not much to this one. Um, I'm gonna see. Reorient my chair. No good. That's working. One of the coolest ports thus far. From the Atari ST is Cybernoid, I think. Head over heels from Pico is great as well. Yeah, we played. Um, I'm gonna reorient my mic here. I apologize for any weird noises. Check my audio levels here. Uh, it's probably a little bit quiet. Let me see if I can boost that up just a little bit.
Testing. There we go. That's a bit better. Hopefully that won't peak too much. Just a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Um, turn the jag up just a bit. Okay. Okay, and then let's see it on the big screen. Okay. Oh, that's kind of a fun title. Title song going on. Oh, Switch. Wow, this has multiple tracks. A lot of Atari ST games seem to only have uh, one or two tracks most of the time. Um, okay, so it looks like we have a tree leveling scheme. Um, so you kind of pick your path, it looks like. Uh, there we go. Warning. Something. Oh. oh, that's interesting. Your bullets stop so far away. That is interesting. Hey, this isn't bad, especially for the ST. I you know scrolling was kind of a difficult thing uh, back then. Some of that was uh, programming experience, but also limitations for the platform. Ooh. It's not bad, though. Looks like those are kind of weapon pickups, those little uh, golden orb things. Uh, there's missiles up above. Um, Cybernoid, I'm trying to remember if I played it. Oh. Ouch. Let's see if we can even get past the first level. Oh. Oh, that's cool. It kind of pauses in the same place. That's neat. I like that. Let's see if we can get some of these power ups here. There we go. No such luck. This is where that turbo controller I was talking about last week <laughs> would be nice. Um, yeah, I haven't played Cybernoid yet. I'm pretty sure I have a copy. Hope I have a copy. I know I've been trying to keep up on all those ST ports that have been released. There you are. Of course, you pop up right on these guys. Where's my help? Oh, shield, right there. At the top. Ouch. It. That's a bit of a mess. There's only like three places on that screen I could hide. <laughs> I'm not going to last much longer here. This isn't bad though. Visually it's very impressive for an ST game. I am very impressed with this. I can't pause. I'm meaning to get a turbo controller. Have fun, man. I think I need to get going. Kraz Productions, thanks for stopping by and chatting about some old CD games. I love doing that. There's tons of those uh, forgotten and unreleased games for, for the JAG, and so I love talking about those. So it's cool to see how much information's come out just in the last uh, little while, too. But anyways, have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. This boss battle is running a little, well, it was running a little bit better. <laughs> that is a big sprite. That is awesome. I wish I could blow up those missiles. I kind of can, it looks like. I don't know if I should be shooting a specific part of this, this mechanical fish. It looks like it's hitting him. Back towards the center of his body. Oh, I can't blow up the missiles, that's nice. Hey, I still have three lives, that is amazing. <laughs> Most of the time, these shooters on the ST are merciless. They, they just really wallop you and uh, 
Um, when I was younger, I, had, I did not have the patience to, to get good. Nowadays, I'll spend a little bit of time, but if it feels just unfair, I'll usually um, not give it the time of day. <laughs> so, this so far has been pretty good. Um, it's been a little slow on the gameplay, but it's not terrible. It's, it's as much as you can expect from the ST back in the day. I assume I'm hitting it. That's one thing Trevor McFern, the Crescent Galaxy, has over this. It has a health bar for the bosses, <laughs> which is really useful. Um, at least from a, a uh, experience standpoint, because um, it's nice to know that you're actually uh, close to defeating a big nasty boss. This I have no idea. The sprite isn't changing. My bullets seem to be hitting them though, so I don't know if I'm supposed to fly past them, I doubt it. Most shooters you don't have to do that. It may just be a bullet sponge. I don't know. I don't know. Have any of you played this before? Is this boss just kind of a... Well, and what's weird is I don't have a health bar. We took it off for this boss battle. I'm supposed to hit his fin up here, maybe. Let's give that a try for a bit. Oh, yeah, that is what I'm supposed to do. Okay, it's my bullets that are stopping. I forgot that my bullets, they, uh... There we go. Now we're hitting something. Boom! But I didn't get out of the way. <laughs> he crushed me at the top of the invisible wall. Okay. Let's see if we can, uh, get this other fin here. Not be that fin. Oh, it's that very back fin. I don't think we're gonna get very far here if that's what I have to. Ooh. Game over. Well, at least I figured out what to do. Let's try it again. See if we can survive a little bit better through that first level. I assume we're gonna have to play again. Um, I know he usually has controller codes for these games, but um, he hasn't revealed the codes for this one specifically, so we'll, we'll just have to tough it. Landing on Sony! Oh, there's no landing involved here. Can I blow up those bullets? Oh, I can. It's nice, they can blow up just about everything. Oh, great, the walls. You too. Oh, I see. I shouldn't be blowing those up. I should be just picking them up. That's good to know. Ooh. Oh, they're coming from behind. Got that power up. Danger. Danger, Will Robinson. Oh man, all these shooters are about those power-ups, man. Like the the one I have a lot of memories for is uh, Xenon 2 Mega Blast. And every once in a while you get that power-up that gives you everything instantly. <laughs> That's, that was always awesome. It seemed random, probably wasn't random, but... What I need is a help pickup. I don't know if I like that spread. Let's blow up the guys down at the top and bottom though, which is nice. Yeah. Got a freaking cannonball, that's awesome. What I need, though, is health. 
Oh, behind me. Oh, gosh. We'll get through this level. Maybe. Oh, we're back to square one on our weapon. Let's see if we can upgrade again. Oh. I'm just gonna go in and get it. Darn it, blew it up. That power up. Don't know where that power up is, but it's probably a shield or something. Kinda like this gun. Of course, having the spread shot for the boss might be a better option, so let's do that. Did I get it? I hope I got it. Is that cart CD or game drive? It's actually, uh, it's a skunk board. I'm doing skunk. I couldn't do game drive on this. Um, he hasn't released this one on, uh, on cart yet, I don't believe. <laughs> ah, crap. That's gonna blow me up, isn't it? Oh no, it didn't. Oh, that did though. <laughs> ah. Okay, let's see if we can get this bottom fan. The problem is, is I can't move fast enough. So I don't know how feasible it is to go down here and hit this fin. Because I think he's just going to crush me. Yep. Just going to crush me. <sighs> this is it. Hey, I got it. Can I hide down here? That's the question. Because I think I'm probably supposed to hit his back fin. Uh, maybe not. Maybe maybe I'm supposed to hit his face now. Nope. Darn it. Okay. Should we do it one more time? That was a pretty quick turnaround that time. So 6.47. Yeah, we'll switch over at 7 o'clock. We'll do Golden Axe. We'll do an hour Golden Axe. See how far I get in that. <laughs> Let's do this one or two more times. So, see if we can get past that first boss at least. We can do that, right? Get past the boss. That is so cool that I can blow those bullets up. That makes my day. Yeah, and I'm glad I figured out that I'm not supposed to blow the power-ups. <laughs> it's good to know. That must be invincibility or something. Got it, got it. Let's see if I can keep it. I wonder if there's help pickups I'm just not aware of. Uh, I want this spread shot. I'd rather do this spread shot. Because I can blow up those guys at the top and bottom. Really useful. <laughs> In fact, this kind of makes me OP. Just a little bit. Except when they come from behind, I guess. Shot is the thing to have. Definitely. Gosh, most things only take one hit. Which is nice too. Man, that makes the first level almost too easy, that spread shot. <laughs> nope, I don't want that one. Maybe it uh, has a. Um, a list it goes through and so it won't continue on that list of power-ups until you pick up the one it's currently on. Uh, getting dicey here. Oh, nope, darn it. Back from square one, let's see if we can get upgraded to that spread shot here. That would be nice. I 
this is a shield. Yeah, my health is definitely not going down with that one. Okay, we need one more. Okay, we'll try not to blow it up. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Nice. Nice! A huge battleship, Fatty Glutton, is approaching fast! <laughs> see if we can get his... his uh, here right up front. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Nope, not gonna let you crush me. Oh, did I hit his back tail? I think I did. Let's see if I can... Uh... He's gonna let me get back there. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, that was close. I'm gonna try to sneak back there if I can. Go, 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 go. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> no! I think RNG is gonna kick you in the butt here. Yep. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, this is tough. Um, I'm just curious to see his... Yeah, nothing's flashing back there. So let's do this. Let's see if I can get down here before dying. Yeah, At least it doesn't... Oh, darn it. At least it gives you some... Uh... I don't think we're going to do it this time, guys. Um, I'm going to try to get out here before it comes back down. those missiles. Let's see if there's something on his face. Now that I've gotten rid of both of his fins. I'm not seeing anything on his face. I'm not sure how to beat him at this point. I've tried hitting his tail back here and it seemed like it flashed there at the beginning, but Maybe it's this little fin here. Let's give that a, a try. Let's get a few things. Probably gonna crush me. Oh, it is that fin. Hey, we got it figured out. Okay, now what? Is it space now? Let's see if we can get close enough. Let's see if I can. Oh, not his eye. Hmm. get that big fin. I mean, it makes sense, right? We've been shooting fins, so I think it would make sense that it would be this. Yeah, but I can't really get close to it without him killing me. Huh. One more time. I'm getting a little bit further each time, so I know I have three fins I have to blow up, and those won't be too hard. Zone First upgrade. Gives us some... Yeah, got our spread shot. those guys come in from behind and the way their pattern set up, it's a little bit difficult to deal with when you're back in the back. So I'd rather be up here in the middle. Whoa! What happened? Oh, did I hit the top? That's weird. I wonder why that happened. Hmm. Oh, I didn't want that. I need a weapon power up. There we go. Let's 
about to get really hairy here, really quick. Oh, pick it up. Thank you. Red shot again. Yeah. Shield, blow that up. I do not want that power up. Ugh. This little space is pretty hairy. Ugh. Man. Oh, oh, come on, pick it up. Darn it. This is gonna be a lot rougher here. Get that. Try to get these, these power-ups as quickly as possible. One more, I don't think we're gonna get it though. Ah, and I blew it up, yeah. I don't think we're gonna get it. Oh, oh, darn it. <laughs> blew it up. <laughs> That's okay. Huge battleship. <laughs> the song change here is interesting. Goodbye. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, hey, well. We have, uh, let's see if we can get down here before dying. That's interesting that I can't hit that fin. <sighs> Darn it. This may be it. This may be it, guys. Yeah, yeah that's rough. That boss battle's rough. I don't know what the last step is. You think there's a walkthrough online for this one? <laughs> I'm almost, I almost want to go take a look. See if there is. Turn my microphone down just a little bit. There we go. Um, should we move on to Golden Axe? <laughs> that one's not too bad. That's actually probably, sorry about that. That's probably one of the best shooters I've played on, on the Jag, to tell you the truth. <laughs> It seemed a lot more fair than most of the shooters I played. Um, and I say fair as a, as a euphemism for I'm not very good at shooters. <laughs> Let's move over to, um, to Golden Axe. Let me get that one queued up. Maybe we'll see if there's a walkthrough for Darius. Because it was probably an arcade game or a Sega arcade game or something at some point, right? Um, let's see here, JCP Flash, Golden Axe. We're going to play some good old Golden Axe. Gotta reset the skunk. Reset it, and let's flash it once it comes up. There we go. We'll flash that. Enjoy the, the um, pretty colors for a bit. Well, Darius game walk through. G Darius HD PS5. So yeah, it seems like an, it is a name I recognized. Um, so it's probably an old arcade game, Japanese. Uh, let's see here, Darius Two. Yeah, it's Taito Interactive, which is definitely a Japanese company. Um, Let's see here. This is the Darius Wiki uh, video game walkthrough and strategy guide, followed by Darius Two uh, horizontal shooter. Looks like it's a little bit different on the arcade. Enemies certain colors will leave power ups behind when killed. Yeah, it's definitely a different game. So this isn't too helpful. Sorry, I know you guys can't see this. I'm I'm just seeing if there is a walkthrough for the game. Darius, let's see if there's a playthrough. Tari ST playthrough. Yep, there it is. Definitely not a playthrough. There's a Darius Plus, which looks like a different game. Anyways. Ah, love the music for this game. 
This is the Amiga version of the music. So that was one thing I didn't talk about with these Atari ST ports, is they aren't using the Yamaha uh, sound from the original Atari ST. I kind of wish they were, and I'm hoping that future releases we do get that because I know somebody's been working on the Yamaha, sorry, I don't know the whole name for it. Fill me in if you, if you know the whole name for that Yamaha chip. But the sound chip on the Atari ST, uh, there's somebody who's emulating it on the Jag. Um, I just don't know if there's enough uh, overhead in this in these games to actually include that, but it'd be really cool. It'd be cool to be able to switch between the Amiga version and the Atari ST version. That would be awesome. Um, how's the audio on this one? It's a little bit louder, isn't it? I'm gonna turn it down just a bit. Okay, um, but yeah, I I really enjoy this game. It'd be even better to have the original ST soundtrack. That would be incredible. Um, sorry, I keep playing around with the mic because I'm watching the levels here. I probably shouldn't be doing that. But uh, yeah, it sounds like the, the audio is good enough. Okay, Death Adder killed his mother. Her mother and father were killed by Death Adder. His brother was killed by Death Adder. Man, this Death Adder gets around a lot. He's like uh, that guy in the Conan the Barbarian, right? Uh, fire one or two to start, and I believe this one's set up for multiplayer as well. But, uh, if we're just doing one player. I would love to get one of my brothers over here on the stream. May have to do that. Um, I always like playing the chick. She's too good looking not to play. Uh, YM 2149 chip emulator. Yeah, 2149 gotta remember that 2049 there's a few games uh, so we're just hanging out oh he's dead save my village sounded a little bit like Decker Kane there huh oh that kicked in the face take that and that oh, darn it. I need to look up the control set for this too is there a pause oh, there's a pause I'm gonna jump over really quick here, I'm going to bring it up over here, too. Um, let's see here. Up fires jump. Uh, up fire fires pile drive. Down fire overhead sword swing for Tyrus Flare and Axe Battler. Roll forward for Gallius Thunderhead. So down fire is a, is a spinning attack. Kind of like a Barbarian Ultimate Warrior, right? Left left is run. Right right is run right. Left left fire. Barge. Leap left. Right, right, fire, barge, loop, right. Okay, so it's really just up, fire, uh, up, fire, fire, and down, fire. I need to remember. And we'll try those all out here. Um, yeah. So let's try. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, there we go. You have to hit a button. Up, fire, yeah. So you jump. Huh. Let you defeat me! This is a pretty good looking port of the game, too. Um, really is impressive. The AI is not bad in this either. Um, they can get around you and cause some real trouble. Ah, come on. Run. There we go. Oh, I kicked him first. I saw that. <laughs> Got him. Come on. Why can't I kick him? There we go. We'll have to learn how to use a special attack. Um, what does it say here? A is magic, B fires pretty much everything, and C is jump. Oh, he map jumped to C. That's cool. Uh, and pause. Order pizza and Lamborghinis. Awesome. Uh, and then star and hashtag is to quit, so you can eat that pizza in the Lamborghini, obviously. So that's what he says on the thread. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want a Lamborghini. I'd, be, I'd always be worried about somebody keying it up. Wouldn't be good. Let's see here. There's that. Why can't.
There we go. It's down and fire. So down and four. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, up, fire, fire. Oh, I think that's the jump. Hmm. Yeah, there's that. Sorry, I'm, I'm just practicing here just a little bit. Do. Do. Oh, I, oh, I forgot about this. That if you don't move, these skeletons come up and they waste you. <laughs> I may need to start over here. It's kind of cool that they fall apart. <laughs> when they hit the ground. Yeah, I totally forgot about these skeleton guys. They're going to waste me. I guess they were probably in the game to make, sh make sure... Uh, um, that if somebody just left the arcade machine that it would restart. Okay, I'm going forward. Run, little kid! Oh, I want that animal. Don't take my animal. It's mine! Haha! <laughs> Axes. No, no. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> There's a word I'm trying to think of there. Uh, no match. There we go. It's no match for my uh, dragon bird thing. <laughs> this seems to be running a little bit faster than the ST, from what I remember, anyways. Ah, uh, come here. Yeah, give me that good stuff. Come on. Then you jump down. Well, Guess, oh, there's another one down here. Yeah. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> Our magic is a. We gotta remember that. For the boss battle. I see you. <laughs> Come and get me. You know, these battle sounds are pretty similar to the ST version. They sound very close to the ST version. The music is just quite a bit different. It's not bad. Um, it's just different. Oh, come on. I won't defend you. You will not be used for their nefarious purposes. <laughs> there we go. This game is a lot more fair than I remember it. Probably because I'm older and it's a little bit easier to play. Okay. I'm probably going to end up using a uh, magic here once I lose my, my ride. Oh, well, we may get these guys. Let's see. Haha. <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh, laugh it up. <laughs> eat, eat a flame ghost or whatever that thing is. <laughs> oh, hopefully it isn't hurting my ride. My steed. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that is pretty cool. A little long, but cool nonetheless. Yeah, that's right. Let's start over on our magic. But I think that's the end of the level. Now we get to wake up and beat up on some elves, dwarfs. Wonder what Thunderhead thinks about this. If I can hit him, it's not letting me hit him. There we go. But I needed some health. Probably won't show up until a bit later. Oh yeah, and this map. I love this map such a, an interesting detail like this is totally unnecessary this whole map thing but it feels so cool makes it feel like you're playing an epic story like Conan or something so, I've been reading a lot of the Conan stories lately really good stuff um, Matt I don't know if you've ever read Conan um, they get a little risque so it's not for everybody but um, 
almost got him over. Off the cliff. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, but uh, man, there's one that I suggest to everybody. It's really good. Um, it's called uh, the Black River, if I remember correctly. Very well done. <sighs> Darn it. I'm not gonna last much longer here. Can't remember if you can get extra lives in this game. Oh, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I meant to jump. Uh, watch the films. Yeah, I, I really enjoy the first film. Uh, the second film is interesting. <laughs> it's not quite as good. It's definitely a little more campy than the first film. Uh, the, the first film is not a like an actual story in the books. Like there's elements. Go away, kids. Um, but uh, but it feels like a Conan story. It's gritty. You have that sword and sorcery, that dark sword and sorcery going on. Um, it's very good. I, I like it. Uh, oh, gotta get that. Gotta run over and get that. It's a little bit hard to run. It might be my controller here. I don't want that dragon. Come on, respawn. Darn it. She got it. That's okay. Means it'll stick around. Let's see if we can get rid of some of these guys. <sighs> yeah. Give me the dragon! <sighs> there we go. I don't like the dragon as much. Yeah, thanks so much for that. I don't like the dragon as much as the, the bird, but I think it does more damage. Oh, come on, I almost took her head off. Let's try it again. Yeah, missed. <laughs> it's hard to land that one, but I believe it does a lot of damage if you can land it. So let's try it again. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Got it. Want some more? Boom. Oh, come on. Yeah, I think it's actually called Beyond the Black River, now that I remember. Really good, definitely worth reading. The ending is wonderful on that. Um, oh, don't run away. I'm going to kick you one more time. There we go. Um, definitely worth reading, though, if you get the chance. And the cool thing about the Conan stories is they're all, I'm pretty sure they're all public domain, the original stories, and so you can just jump online and, and get them uh, for free. Yeah, I'm having a hard time running. Gosh, I'm trying to do that spinning. if this controller is kind of bad for running. Oh, it's not too bad. Just hard. Run, children! Your parents are probably dead, but it's better than being dead yourself, I suppose. Oh, wow. That one shoots fireballs. Let's see if we can... <laughs> Wish I could run! Maybe I'll get hit over there and we can... <laughs> Darn it. Ugh. Let's see if we can navigate our way over there without... <sighs> Darn it. Is that game over? Or do I have one more? Or maybe game over. Yeah, that's game over. Well, let me continue. Do I have to start from the beginning? Man, only 7%. Or, I don't know what that number means. Huh. Okay, let's play it again. Yeah, Conan's really good. Um, uh, Red Sonia is another interesting one. Actually, I recently read the Conan story where Red Sonia is inspired 
where that character's, uh, the inspiration for Red Sonja comes from. Oh, that's interesting. The guy ran out on the screen. I don't remember ever seeing that. No. I wish I had a defense of some sort that would make this a little bit easier. I wish I could run more consistently. I'm having a hard time. There we go. Gotta put just a little bit of a pause in it. We'll try to get good at that. Uh. You still have life in you. what I'm talking about. Oh. Missed them both. <laughs> There's a foolish kick. No, well, that's it for the bird creature, because I think I, once I knock them off here... Why did I stop? That was weird. There we go. Die. Really? Try that again. Getting a spin attack down. Ha! Ha! Yeah, I just gotta put a pause between that double tap. Uh, come on, get on the chicken bird. <laughs> or the chicken dragon, or whatever you call it. Come on, hit him! These are magic first. Oh no, the sprites, they're split in half. That's weird. Glitching out a little bit, it looks like. Oh, they're fine when they're zoomed up, though. You know, I don't think I've ever played the actual arcade version of this game. I should give that a try one of these days. Oh wow, I killed them both. Nice. I 
I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Get up. Why am I... Uh-oh. The game might be glitching out. I can't... I can't move up. We may have to restart. It's not good. I'll have to contact CJ about this. It's not ending. Come on. Yeah, there's something that's uh, locked up here. Let's try restarting soon. Uh, looks like that may not be working either. Let's see if it fixes itself here. And I fell to my death. <laughs> uh, nope, it's not working. Okay, I'm gonna restart. I broke it, Matt. I broke it. Not sure how. Uh, that was interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure how I broke it. So those Chinese characters, um, the first one is uh, is is be is weapon, and I imagine the last one means axe. Um, I'm not entirely sure though, but I, I'm pretty sure it means. Ah, uh, no. I'm not sure what that that means. Uh, that second one, the one, the first one is definitely battle or to fight. Um, it could also mean weapon too, if I remember correctly. So. You broke it. Uh, you die. We all know. Man, the guy runs in first thing. Try to work out good. Haha! <laughs> Defeated. No. Come on, do it. <laughs> Trying to do that reverse. No, oh, so close. <laughs> Let's see if we can get past the second level before we finish today. That'd be awesome. And I stopped swinging my sword for some reason. <laughs> it's so weird. That's happened twice now. You can get on that whenever you want. There we go. second. Why am I jumping? It's like the controls get locked up or something. It's weird. Come on. Now you're there. Ah. 
we go. That was a flawless victory. Jumped. I've never seen him do that before. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, can I use my magic wall on this, Steve? Just finish this battle? Oh yeah, I can. Cool. Let's just end it. Yeah, I'll have to send over the stream to CJ and see if he can identify what's going on there. Get that fixed. It could just be a, a bug that's native to the game, too. So there's not much he can do do about it without some serious effort. Digging or decompiling the code and all that jazz. Increase your magic. Oh, I will. Just by two, apparently. I know those, uh, the other sleeping moments, there's more of those elf creatures that pop up. Jump! Haha! <laughs> he got me! Sometimes. Oh, of course the spin thing works great there. <laughs> I tried to do it again. It didn't quite work out. Them. That was weird. Uh oh, here comes that dragon again. Let's see if I can get a Immediately when she gets on. <laughs> it's obviously one timer for that. Oh, I hit one of them. <sighs> and I didn't run when I needed to. Well, at least she flamed her own guys. Spam it. <laughs> nice track. Okay, let's see if we can hold on to this uh, dragon for more than two seconds. Wow, we got three from him. That'll be useful later. Later on. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> They're all just trying to dash me. Ah, take that. You have one more in you? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> got him. Hey, at least the game's not breaking now. Uh-oh, we got another fire. Or another fire dragon. Is it the one that shoots the fireballs? I think it is. Let's see if we can... Uh... Oh, come on. Well, so much for that dragon. Ah, take that. Yeah, this dragon's a little OP. <laughs> How well it works against the bosses, which I think are now. Hey, it says Sega back on that plank there. Never noticed that before. Ah, oh, I lost my dragon. Increase your powers. Now I don't think I can get an extra life here. I might. Let's give it a try. Nope. It's only if you're low on health. Does the green one give you more health? Uh oh. We have to ride on the back of a turtle, apparently. The village was on the back of a giant turtle. The turtle takes us south, across the sea. Why did I stop? It's so weird. Sometimes she just stops attacking. stuck. There we go. Okay. Hey, we didn't die. <laughs> Good news! We didn't die. Come on. One more. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's see if we can get to the end boss. That would be awesome. You still over there? Come on, just leave. Don't get stuck. Please don't get stuck. We've come so far. There we go. And he falls to his death. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Jump and pile drive is a pretty useful tack most of the time. Got him. Kind of a tight place to fight. See, I just stopped attacking. That is so bizarre. Well, get this down to one health. I'm going to. Uh, Can I 
fall off the edge, I think I can. Is that it? Or is that guy still alive? Oh, I got him. Good. Don't really need. I should have been using my magic. That's all kind of a waste. But I need more green guys. Green elves! Before they run off that bridge to their deaths. <laughs> Come on! I hit him. I got one guy. Oh, that's it. Should have used my magic, I guess. Huh? <laughs> we were so close to the boss battle, though. I'm pretty sure the boss battle's right there. Uh, wish I had a cheat code where I could skip a level. Your strength, 48.5. I wonder how they uh, they determine that. Okay, should we do it one more time? We've got about 20 minutes. Let's let's go ahead and see if we can get a little bit further. I'm getting better at this. That um, oh, I guess we're doing we're doing the Conan guy this time. Um, uh, that jump and slash is very useful. Because first of all, you dodge that attack. Incredibly useful. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit better at slaughtering these guys. less magic, so I should probably use it a bit more often. Oh. It's weird, it makes it sound like you're hitting them, but it's not actually hitting them. They have some level of invul invulnerability there for a bit. to this boss. <laughs> My bird. Okay. My attack just stops. Oh, 
don't know if that's normal. I, I don't remember that in the original game. <sighs> Apparently not close enough to hit him. There we go. And I lose my track. See if this way some oh wow a nuclear bomb with uh, rocks maybe that's supposed to be a volcano <laughs> it's probably what it's supposed to be <laughs> see how much damage it actually does nice hey isn't that the end of the oh there we go increase your powers come back here Yep, yep, yep. We're going to the town. We'll lay waste there, and then get on the uh, on the giant turtle. Where are you? Goodbye. Run at me! I'll send you over the precipice too. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I'm getting better. <laughs> Pull off stuff like that. Yeah, when they dash, it's almost a good idea to just run. Or to not run, jump like that. Or get out of their path. We're still at three lives. Just barely, but we're there. Probably gonna lose it here. <laughs> Guess I could use my magic on this one. Just to make it simpler. Let's see if this solves our problem a bit quicker. He's about to slice my head off, man. <laughs> Come on, dragon. You are mine. And we got a magic pack too. That was a good good time to do magic. Was on that one. Oh, I died. You got me in the back. He's out of play. Maybe I shouldn't use my magic on these guys, too, man. Dragon, we're definitely using our magic here. Look at these fools. Come on, come on. Of course, you're not going to get on the dragon. <laughs> My goodness. Sorry, that was ridiculous. Eat 
flames. Of course, it's the last battle tank. Well, at least we'll get to restore our health here. Maybe. There we go. Get some magic. One more time. I like chicken. <laughs> it's fun. Going so good, too. Your helmet will not save you from my powerful blows. Ah, that wasn't too bad. Only well, we lost one life, too, so we're doing. Ah, darn it. <laughs> Wrong attack. Ah. Try that again. Come on, let me hop up there. There we go, good job. Ooh, that was close. Gotta be careful when jumping. Yeah, come down here. Let me kick you a little bag. Overs. Gotcha. That was a flawless victory. Okay, I'm just going to use the magic on these guys. out of the way so we can finish this level. We're doing pretty good. We have two lives. That's good. Ah, darn it. Ah, chuckle all you want. You'll cease chuckling once my sword ends up in your back. Ah, hey, we're still doing good on our health, our lives. Oh, can we get tons of magic? Come here, give me all your magic. Look at that, almost full magic. That should make our boss battle a little more approachable. This is where we died last time, right? Let's see how far we can get. Yeah, the controls get locked up there. He was, my character was moving up when he shouldn't have been looking, uh, moving up. Hey, man, these guys haven't touched me. One more, bud. Your little uh, bushel of grapes isn't gonna get me this time. Oh, 
Oh, good, he missed. I imagine the big guy does a lot more damage if I let him hit me. Yeah, I just stop attacking. That is so bizarre. Nice try. I think we got this one. Nice. Uh, does anybody know if you get extra lives? I don't remember. It's technically all we need. I'm wondering if we load up on food, we'll eventually get an extra life. Nope. No such luck. Come here. Get out of here. You've served your purpose. I will stand in the fire now. <laughs> Where to next? We have gone in close vicinity of the castle. But the way is packed by enemy lines. Oh, oops, I skipped that last part. It said we must do something. Fight through them or something, I don't know. We should probably use our magic here at some point. Oh, let's just use it here. I'll probably regret this later, <laughs> but might as well. There'll be more little elves that we can kick later. Skeleton guy? Apparently. Got him. Yeah. Apparently, he has lungs to scream his uh, demise out. Here. He's just running. <laughs> that was funny. Oh. Oh, hit him. Why wasn't I hitting him? down that hole, hopefully. Hey, we got some magic. That's good. Come on here, Mr. Gray. Must be a golem or something. Prepping you for new enemies, I believe. Oh, we're on a giant bird, aren't we? That's what the feathers are. <sighs> Darn it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> they keep jumping, they can't get me. Gotcha. <laughs> that was 
good. Getting better. Almost want to play this again tomorrow, see if we can beat it. <laughs> I'm really interested in beating it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't die. Can die in this game. I know a skeleton's gonna pop up there. A couple of them probably. Or not. Nice. out a way to exploit their jump <laughs> does make it quite a bit easier because they won't attack while they jump at least not these enemies That's the way to play this game, <laughs> just with that jump attack. The only thing that would make it really OP is if you could move uh, up and down um, in depth. That way you could line up. Because like this guy's just below me, so I'm gonna have to. Skeletons do a lot of damage. Oh. <laughs> well, last life. And yeah, I gotta get off here fairly soon. Hey, we made it to the level. That's cool. Wish I could get an extra life. That'd be fantastic. Can't kick him for some reason. It'd be cool if I could get an extra life. I don't think that's gonna happen though. I wonder if there's a secret, you have to hit certain things or something to get extra lives. I don't know. Ah, now we're on the eagle. Heading the fiend's path was a great eagle. We are taken across the skies to the castle. Now, the final battle begins. Uh, oh wow, the last level. Man, maybe we will spend some time trying to beat this tomorrow because I don't think I'm going to get there. Ugh, I don't want to fall to my death. Look at that eagle eye, isn't that cool? Nice try. All three of them fell to their demise. Try not to fall to my death here myself. I hope I'm not stuck now. Oh, it's not letting me go up. Yeah, I was kind of stuck. I couldn't move upwards. Spam these guys. Gotta remember I have full magic, so I should probably use that when I get a chance. You may try to beat the game here. I may be able to make it. That'd be cool. <laughs> Oh, 
we're having. Not even worth it when they're in that close. <laughs> like how the AI kind of freezes up. I think it still thinks I'm down on the ground or something. Goodbye. Who fought well? our magic on these guys as soon as I get this other guy to come out. Guess he's just gonna hang out there. <laughs> he's watching the battle ensue. Oh, I hit him that time. I guess we're gonna use magic. I don't want to deal with these guys. Goodbye. Eat volcano. So, have any of you played this game before? Any of you played it in the arcade? Curious. I've actually never seen this one in an arcade before. Of course, I was born kind of after all that. But, or as that was dying off in the 90s. But I've been to a few arcades during my time. I've never seen this one. Uh-oh, is this the end? Is that death at a... Oh good, it's gonna give me some magic. I totally forgot that this was the end song. Come on. Oh, almost full magic. Peons are no match for me. Come on. <laughs> this guy doesn't want to die. me coward oh no there he is <laughs> see some magic on him oh he has a fireball or something <laughs> see if I can get him to come out to the center of the screen have this one in the bag. This jump spam attack works. He has kind of a smaller hitbox than the other big guys. Tracks you on the <laughs> on the depth. Gotcha. Oh. 
being the last boss, it's probably going to be a bullet sponge, so, or a sword sponge in this case. Got him. Can't believe that guy killed my father or my mother or my cousin or my stepsister's uh, second removed cousin something. Hey, I won! Is he gonna stall? Oh no. Oh, that was, those are my parents? I thought he killed them. Oh no, that's probably the king and queen, right? Thank you, gallant one. Take my utmost gratitude for our rescue. You and your courage have rid us of death equals adder. Now the people will be able to live, to build, and to prosper in peace. Is that it? I think that's it. Finn, congratulations. Yeah, I haven't beaten that one in a long time. That was fun, though. Whoa, what's this? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Forgot about this. That's so bad, This is cool. Oh, kid, you're in trouble now. You beat the game. Now you've unleashed the game on the world. Run away! <laughs> That's fun. Virgin Pro Dementia. That's a fun little ending, huh? Your strength, 38.1. I don't know. I guess lower is better. That's what it seems like. Anyways. That's it for that. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, I was not expecting to get to the end of that. I thought the game was actually a little bit longer, but forget that it was an arcade game, and sometimes games like that are a bit shorter. Um, anyways, tomorrow, let me, tomorrow will be, uh, oh, my switcher stopped working, or did it? No, there, there it is. <laughs> So tomorrow we're gonna we're gonna jump back into Baldi's. I'm gonna do a day of Baldi's, see if we can get through a couple more levels there. Um, give it we kind of didn't give it a fair shake a couple weeks ago, and so I want to give that a little more time. And, and it's gonna be kind of a filler game, and so I'll play it on and off once or twice a month, something like that. But anyways, uh, yeah, we'll do that tomorrow. And uh, until then, have a great day. Thanks for watching, uh, Matt and Kraz, if you happen to still be there. I know you jumped off earlier, and anybody else who's watching, thanks for watching the Jag Corner and, and joining me today as we as we slaughtered a Death Adder and his minions. Um, yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye.